Hello, everyone. Andy here again, and we are playing Spin Tires. Uh, several folks have now requested that I give this game a try. Uh, in particular, does the Farming Sim steering wheel work with Spin Tires? And to put it shortly, yes, it does. So, not much else to say than other than it works. Uh, there's obviously not a whole lot of controls to Spin Tires. Uh, you got the keyboard controls. And then I just, uh, defaults, and the only thing I had to change for the farming sim steering wheel, I changed the brake accelerate here, and I turned on, I think this is like the reverser mode or whatever. So the controls are actually the right way around. Uh, without this on, the gas pedal was actually the reverse, and the reverse was actually the gas pedal. So, turn that on, that was the only thing I did. And I guess I could, uh some of these controls here if I wanted to. So, change gear. I don't ever use change gear. So, one. Signed as diff lock primary. Unassign it. Um. Okay. Mean. I guess we'll just start pushing buttons, I guess, and see what's what happens. I did not, I was not aware that was actually, uh, configured. And for some reason, I did have a map started, and it told me it was corrupt. So I guess we'll start a new map here. And, and I was looking at the map as to what to play here. I've done the river already. I've done the hill, and I'd like to say I've done the flood. So I don't think I've done coast. I haven't done plains, and I definitely have not done the volcano. So looking at the maps, I thought the plains might be an interesting one. I guess it doesn't. Uh, hardcore. Interesting. Okay. Not exactly sure what hardcore does, really. But we'll, we'll just leave it on the cash hole. There, there's enough mud in this game, casual-wise. Okay, what vehicles do we want to start with? That thing is a disaster, so we're not going to start with that. This is kind of a cool truck. Gonna get stuck, though. Guarantee you that. Well, let's go with this truck, maybe. And definitely have to do the cure bits. And yeah, okay, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. That should be good. Well, I guess I can't escape. Okay, well, it's, uh, uh, let's. I know this one can, like, go through everything, so... Ah, sure, why not? And it's been a little while since I've played this game. I've, like I said, i played through a couple levels already. Let's uh, just turn the sound down a little bit. Uh, for those of you wondering, uh, settings, I am playing level details, high, high, highest, highest, uh, 16x. Everything enabled, including the random checkbox that doesn't have anything next to it. Not sure what that does. Uh, we'll leave that be. Anyway, uh... I will have to say here before we start, the most annoying thing I find for this game is the views. Um, it just, yeah. I really struggle with the views in this game. They're like really super annoying. Anyway. Let's, uh, we'll just uninstall that. What do we all got on this thing? Log, cart, carriage, backup wheel. Oh, that's all that does. That's kind of lame. Highway wheel. Yeah, we're, like we're going to want highway wheels on a map like this. I don't think so. Uh, tractor. Oh, okay, that's what that does, yep. Roz, roof pack, carry... Oh, 100 repair points, nice. Protector, markers, full, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Um, let's see what's here. About the cure of it. We got grabber and protector. Put them both on. Sure, why not? Okay, parking brake. 
box on that space bar. Actually, let me push some buttons here. Oh, that brings up main menu. That's all wheels. So, okay, button two on the steering wheel here is four wheel drive. And button three, ah, button three is the parking brake. Oh, nice. We can actually look around here. Okay, cool. Uh, the D-pad on the left side it actually lets you look around. Not that looking around in this game is, like, really good. What happened here? Was, ah, there we go. It was looking around. And let's see. Oh. Mark is button. Uh, that is button seven. I had to look under there to see what that is. Not actually the horn button. Button eight. I hear it clicking. I don't know what that does. If that's a starter, maybe? I'm honestly not sure what that's doing. But seeing as how the horn is on that button, can I change that? I see, I don't see all the controls here, so I'm a little confused by that. If I, if I go back to here... Yeah, there's really not a horn... Button, unless I'm missing something. So it's like you can change some options, but not all options. I, Yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's spin tires. Okay, let's see what's here. So we probably want to get uh, get up to there, maybe? I think if we go down the road here through a uh, river, of course. I should do it. Oh, we might want fuel too. We're not doing good on that. Maybe we'll see if we can get to the fuel here first. So away we go. I take a look at the map here. You'll probably see me looking at the map here a lot, folks, for those you wondered. Okay. Looks like we have to go across the river. I'm going to turn on... Oh, that's the parking brake. Okay, button two is all-wheel drive. And full speed ahead. Come on, tractor. Go. Stop now. That was a bad time to stop. There we go. Okay, we gotta cross that without too much difficulties. Okay, take the tractor again. I think we want to go to the right of it. Like I said, it's been uh, been quite a while, probably several months here since I've played this game, so I'm a little bit rusty at it. And like I mentioned, I did play a couple of maps here when I first got it. Okay. Oh boy, this looks like it's going to be messy fun. Yeah, I don't see what could potentially go wrong over here. Try to stay up on the high side here if we can. Yeah, gas pedal mashed. Oh, here we go. Now we're into some mud. Yep. Come on, Kirobits. We can get through this, can't we? Oh, yeah. No problems. Again. Yeah, that's the one thing you'll notice about this game. Uh, you look at the roads, there's like really no road that leads to the fuel here. You know, obviously we're on like, if you want to call it a road, we're on a path, let's put it that way. We're on a path. Actually, you know what, there is a way to... Waypoints. I do do that. 
I think it'll show a line here if I remember correctly. Yes, it does. Okay, so I can follow the line. I'm gonna have to bring up the map here again. Until I get to the point where I'm going. Okay, and... Let's see, yeah, no, that's gears. I don't remember which gear is which, though. Oh, that's reverse, okay. What does this one like? That's gear one. Gear plus one, okay. Oh, and my line ran out, so okay. Map here, yeah. I think we're gonna want to take a turn off here. It looks like, even though this doesn't look too good. Looks like we're gonna try to get to there. Back this up a little bit. Oh yeah, this definitely doesn't look like a path at all, even though it looks like you can do it from the map. Let's see how everything doesn't go this way. That's why I say sometimes it's a little bit fun to try to find stuff on this map, because roads, if you want to call them that, like I said, always lead to where you want them to. Still going <laughs> right direction. Oh, I see it right over there. Perfect. Got ready to open the map there and it's like, wait, I see it over here. Of course, there's got to be a little bit of mud there right before we get into it, looks like. Uncloaking is probably, I would say, a more challenging bit. Finding the uh, area where you have to drive to to uncloak it is not easy at times. Maz, there. I imagine that it looks like that's the lumber there, and that's the objective to deliver eight lumber. Okay, so. Kind of stick to this uh, main road here. Again, if you want to call it that. I mean, we'll try to get to one of these cloaked areas here. I'm gonna turn this on just so I can kind of see it. That way I know I'm kind of going in the right direction, yeah.
I can probably turn. Oh, I'll drive off, or maybe I can't. As soon as I turn it off, I see there's some mud up here. Oh yeah, we need four-wheel drive back on. Okay. Uh-oh, we're stuck. I think we're stuck. Let's take a look at the map here. Am I... Am I... Uh, okay, yeah, so we're kind of going the right way here. A little bit of roundabouting we'll have to do here. Okay. We're still going yet. Okay. Not quite stuck yet. Drive back on. Oh yeah, nice sloppy mess here. Oh yeah. Yeah, for those of you who do not have this game and you're looking for a game with you know driving vehicles through lots of mud and difficult terrain, it's definitely the game for you. I will have to say it is a lot of fun, although it, it does kind of get boring quick because you know once you do one map, you know it, it's, you've done them all, kind of sort of. I mean, each map does have a little bit different terrain to it, but still, you know, you've done one map, the mud on the next map is still the same, so. Uh, what they definitely need to do, though, is add more vehicles. I will definitely say that. I'd love to see a lot more vehicles in this game. That would be fun. Okay, looks so like made it to my checkpoint, so. Let me get to some dry ground here, and we'll stop a minute. Uh, one probably thing, good thing to note, don't stop in the mud, because that can be disastrous at times. Okay. I'm going to put a spot to there. And your folks' guess is as good as mine how to get there. I can maybe just go this way a little bit here and see what's what we got up ahead. Like kind of a nice flat open ground here. We can kind of Ah, there we go. Cool, cool. Yeah, we should have no problem on flipping this one. And for those of you who've never done this before, just drive up to these black, uh, tornado-ish, whirlwind-looking things. There we go. Cloak and remove. Now we can look at it on the map. Nice. I think going this way, maybe. And this is kind of the way I play in the game. First thing I like to do is go around, get everything uncloaked, just so I can see the map, and see where I need to go and whatnot. I think this one might be a little bit harder. That first one there was like way too easy. Oh, 
damage there. Oh yeah, this is definitely not gonna end well. I don't think I see a river down here. A quick look at the map. What do we have? There might no, that's a river there. Not too far away from it, but Oh, maybe we gotta go this way. This might be the way to go over here. Well, folks, I think we'll uh, we'll wrap up this episode here with uh, us. And I think we might get stuck if we try to keep going this way. So, yeah, you folks have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. Let me know if you want to see more of this or not. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.